started by by Jay wanting to to connect with people physically in this local community and, and take take our connection with uh, car lovers from the virtual world at local-motors.com to the physical world here in Wareham where we were you know building the, the rally fighter and just share that physical experience and uh, what it became was Burgers Cars and Welding and what it is is it's a taste of what the micro factory experience is going to be once it's full blown and grown up and um, um, so what happens is, is people come by number one just to enjoy the company of other car lovers to hang out and we have some food we have burgers and there are obviously cars there people bring their own cars and they park them out back and you know everybody checks them out and has a good time and and they actually get to see you know month by month the progression of the rally fighter development which is probably the most exciting thing to be able to physically see that for a car company to open their doors and say come see what we've done together you know come see where we're at right now and then uh, you know to make it even better we do this this um, educational bit, which is the welding, and you know every month they actually do something. Uh, I guess show you how to accomplish something with your vehicle. If he makes it uh, something that's attainable for you know a father, a mother, and their son or daughter to come to the factory, and it sounds you know everything that we're building at Locomotors is around that concept. So I can't imagine Jay ignoring somebody who brings their son or daughter with him. Um, yeah, you know, Bob Bondrant in, in Arizona has the driver school for the 16-year-olds, you know, where they get to do the donuts in the parking lot, but they learn about the cars. Yeah, that's it. I, you know, I, I, fully a third of the customers at Factory 5 are doing it with their daughter, are doing it with their son. I mean, this is a 16-year-old. I mean, I've got them, so I can tell you from experience. It's a fabulous time if you do it right. It's probably the worst time of your life as a parent if you do it wrong. And something like this as a project, I mean, give me the 16 year old that doesn't want to at least take part in building a car. You know, you might be the dorky dad for a little while, but if you're building the car, you're the dorky dad building a car, right? I mean, it's, it's really okay. The very start of the experience is actually, you know, before the car is even chosen. If you choose to get involved at the very beginning, you actually help choose which design you love and push that into open development. And then bit by bit you get to participate, say what you like, what you don't like, even contribute designs to help move this forward. And as the, the, the car comes into the physical world, then you know the, the real experience or sort of a continued experience begins where um, if you're a rally fighter buyer, you come in and you build your car and uh, that only takes the, the two weekends, so six days, but that's just the beginning. Like there are, there's, there's a whole lifetime of experiences to be had after that where you can you know, come back to the shop and work on your car, or you can come back and meet your friends, you can ride it on the track out back, that kind of thing. Uh, they'll have regular meetups like we do, you know, we have BCWs here on a monthly basis, but I think that, you know, rally fighter owners are going to get together every weekend and go ride, you know, so it's, it's going to be, it's going to be an even richer community once we have the rally fighters. I'm really excited about that. It's, it's the yep. people, yeah. the, the community that you're talking about, the car is just a conduit to bring people together and it's really you the people uh, they make or break the whole company you know they, that experience they have will be great they either will go they'll go to direct they'll go the direction where they just drive the car and enjoy it or they'll be an active part of your post build community either way they're spokespeople for locomotives so it's a uh, these good days. It's cool to see like people come out and they'll bring their sons or bring their family. Butch always comes and he brings his two sons and uh, we have, you know, it's really unique for them to be able to come out and see a local car being built. So Greg Nurjan, you know, might come out and see it. He's the rally fighter owner number one and uh, he can actually see his car coming to life. So that's a really intimate, exciting experience. Literally, I was probably, you know, three seconds or something after the, uh, the start and he said, you did it, you're number one. I said, I, I was just hoping to be, you know, within the top thousand. You've got people lining up in Bowling Green to build a Corvette, but they're not building a Corvette. They're driving it off the last 10 feet of the assembly line. Now they drive all the way to Bowling Green. They get in the car. It's a huge deal to them. Jay's taking that further. He's taking it and saying, look, start off, build it with me, live with me in your area. Hey, you have a problem? I'm right here. Yeah, that's different. That's what, that's why we're here. The Factory 5 model, which was, I'm going to give you this box full of parts. It's going to take you 300 hours to put it together. Uh, you can imagine the connection we have with the customers. I mean, that's 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 kind of the Uber connection. Right? Most companies don't even want that level of connection because it's so in, intense. 
And Jay, I think, is in that sweet spot. So I can't deal with the mass market. Jay can. He'll get somebody who's a lawyer who wants to spend the 70 grand on the coolest car he can find, wants to build it, but where is he ever going to find 300 hours to build a factory five? It's not going to happen. So there, there's Jay to fill the void. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a neat world that way. If you have the interest as an enthusiast, but you don't have the time, two weekends and you have your car? There's no valet guy going to drive the 360 in the front of the line, right? It's going to be some special one-off car. I see them go over to Europe to buy their BMW or their Mercedes uh, because they get that cool experience of actually going to the factory, you know, driving around Europe and then shipping the car home. And I think this is, uh, this is almost gives you that same sense of, of um, uh, you know, pride of origination. Where did it come from? You know, uh, it, it's a whole experience. That in, in the car buying uh, process and this actually in the car building and, and owning process. But um, it gives you that same sense of, of ownership and pride and being part of the process. And um, yeah, I mean, people are disconnected from so much today that uh, it's definitely going to give them a, a sense of, um, of reality and of pride and of uh, um, you know, ownership and you know, responsibility to some degree about you know, what went into the car and, and how it runs and um, you know, the fuel efficiency of it and all those things that are the little things that, that add up to a, kind of a bigger story. So I wouldn't miss any of it. Um, I actually enjoy all of that. I find that uh, the camaraderie with the people, you got the sponsors, you got just a whole different wide aspect of people that all here for the same reason, for the car. You know what I mean? So no matter who you talk to, you know they're car people. And it isn't like going to another event where you know, you're talking to someone, you have no clue or whatever they like or do or anything like that. And I'd say a good amount of the people that were here, you could tell people who were supportive to Jay and supportive to local. And, you know what I mean? I was actually amazed at the amount of orders he got, um, even to date. You know, so. But I enjoy it, I, and I love you know the nice little shop they have here and watching it from its infancy and uh, grow into. Uh, not everybody's going to want to own steel table, <laughs> you know. But if you want to build a car right, that is where it starts. And these guys would hang with us every weekend. If there was a customer coming from out of town, they would bring their cars over, not just to show off the car, but to take part in the experience. So yeah, I don't, I don't care if there's four people in the backyard, that's a, that's a community. And the minute you have a community of people that actually bought the car and built it, like Jay's about to have in a few months, magic happens. That's where, that's where it happens. I, these guys, they are buying cars, they're going to have a ball with their cars, it's a great car. I saw the video of the thing doing Baja, even though Jay shouldn't have been going over 30 miles an hour, right? Here's doing 90 on some dirt road, right? Well, welcome to a community, right? That's, that's what guys with cars do. To me, no matter how cool the car is, it's all about the people. That's always going to be what's most special about local motors. I mean, the, the development, the future of cars could go any number of directions, but local motors will always be relevant and will always be special because because of the community behind it, because um, uh, these people are passionate about cars, no matter what type of cars, and they're willing to work and, and willing to participate and give their their ideas and um, the things that you know they really hold precious and and participate in order to make these things come to life, and that's what's special.